So um, in this segment, we're going to, I know this, the, I, I kind of missed the boat on this article, but it's important mm. because it's going to show us the framing of Edwin Poots, I suppose, kind of the stance of the DUP, because the DUP are very much backing the British government when it comes to constantly attacking the EU over the Northern Ireland Protocol, despite the fact that it was the UK, it was Boris Johnson that, you know, um, Boris Johnson and Frost that negotiated and agreed to this. So whatever, man. But yeah, you know, th this guy, he's a massive fraud as well. Let's listen to what he has to say quickly and then we'll break it down in the article as well. ...on our streets in Northern Ireland that hasn't been the case for years and that's on the back of this protocol. And it vexes me because the European uh, Commission over the years have put their heart and soul into winning peace in Northern Ireland and the current batch of commissioners don't seem to care for the peace process in Northern Ireland and that really needs to change, that attitude needs to change. They are doing demonstrable harm to every individual in Northern Ireland and it's having a devastating impact. I mean, he just he's just lying there, isn't he? Because it's not the fault of the EU that the Northern Ireland Protocol exists. The, Nor the Northern Ireland Protocol exists to stop a hard border in the, um, in the island of Ireland. And so what does that mean? Um, unless you want to go back to the Troubles, which, you know, you never know with people like Poots because the DUP were originally against the Good Friday Agreement. Now suddenly they all, you know, they all love the Good Friday Agreement. So, you know, it's annoying, but he, he's he's attacking the EU over this when you, we're going to be talking about this during the week. The EU have offered some minor concessions over the Northern Ireland Protocol, but the protocol has to exist because you cannot have an open border with the UK. You know, GB... Um, cannot have an open border with the Republic of uh, with um, uh, Ireland. You can't have that. So yeah, it's just I, I don't know if he fails to understand like other people in Britain or if he just chooses to be uh, chooses to lie on purpose. I I don't know genuinely. But the DUP um, leader Edwin Poots has accused the European Union of treating Northern Ireland as a political plaything, which is just ridiculous because you could argue that is the stance of Great Britain. They've treated Northern Ireland as a political plaything. You know, constantly causing issues in Ireland. Mr. Poots claimed the EU was damaging the uh, Northern Ireland peace process. Um, again, you know, the EU aren't. It's great. It's GB. It's Boris Johnson that has done this. He agreed to this because he didn't want to keep the whole of GB in the in the customs union and single market. Come on, man. European Commission uh, Vice President Maros Sefcovic firmly rejected that suggestion. Um, Poots said the current EU commission commissioners did not seem to care about the peace process. Obviously, they do because that's the reason why it's you know it's GB that carries out the checks within the Irish Sea. It's not the EU. Um, the EU are trusting Britain in this regard to carry out the checks that are necessary to stop goods floating in to um, Ireland from Northern Ireland. All right. He said he shared the fear his predecessor Arlene Foster that anger over the Northern Ireland Protocol could lead to violence on the streets this summer. Like, dude, why are members of your party meeting paramilitary forces then? Because unless you're telling them to stay calm and stuff like that, which I don't think you are doing, why are you meeting paramilitary forces? Because apparently guns are available to these people and they could easily get them. And yet, unless you're meeting them to tell them, look, stay calm and we'll resolve this. Um, it sounds like you're the one stoking the violence, my friend. He said, I don't want to use the threat of violence in terms of this. Well, you kind of are. When you're saying, I don't want to use the threat of violence, but it, it very much sounds like you're trying to be violent. It's like, I, I don't want to punch you in the face, but, you know, his arguments are very clear. They are coherent. No, they're not, because you're attacking the EU over um, the policy of mainly Britain. The, the reason why this policy exists, the Northern Ireland Protocol exists, is because of Britain and Brexit. So your arguments are not clear and they are not coherent. They are incoherent, my friend. This is the European Union seeking to punish the UK and as a consequence, Northern Ireland is being used as a plaything. Like, I don't, these people like don't get it. Like, the EU are not at war with us. This Northern Ireland protocol was implemented to stop a hard border within Ireland. It's not hard to figure out, dude. It really isn't. He said, I can assure you Northern Ireland should be nobody's plaything. I mean, it's not, is it? So I don't know what you're talking about. He urged the UK to consider invoking Article 16 of the protocol. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to end well for you guys. I'm sure that's going to go really well. What a fool he is. So, uh, Vice President of the European Commission, Maros Sefcovic, uh, firmly rejected any suggestion that the EU no longer cared about the peace process. Now, he expressed total commitment to the Good Friday uh, slash Belfast Agreement. And to be fair, the EU have. That's why people fail to understand that the Northern Ireland Protocol is a... Um, 
is a compromise on both si- from both sides. It's a compromise from the UK, but it's also a compromise from the EU because it's not EU officials doing the customs checks. It's British officials doing the customs checks. There's a lot of trust there that British officials will carry out the customs checks so that, you know, goods don't filter in. You know, the goods going into um, Northern Ireland are fine and goods won't filter into Ireland. That's why they exist. He said the protocol be- brought economic um, opportunity for Northern Ireland. And that's, that's interesting because we'll actually be discussing that in a separate video. Because potentially Northern Ireland will become a gateway into Ireland, but also into GB, into GB because there won't be checks. According to Boris Johnson, there won't be checks from Northern Ireland to GB. So what that means is goods can flow very easily from here to GB, but also can go into Ireland with no issues. So it's very interesting he says that. So clearly, um, people within Stormont are looking at this as an opportunity. Sefcovic suggested a temporary Swiss-style veterinary um, agreement as a solution for Northern Ireland, where the UK continues to follow all of the agri-food rules. Um, the issue would be that the UK would have to change the rules as the EU does. This is alignment, not equivalency. He said such a deal could be done in weeks and would remove 80% of the GBNI checks. And the thing is, right, if we did this, this would resolve a lot of the issues that we've had. Um, but we're not going to because we're idiots. Poots also rejected this proposal, saying that struck me as a temporary solution. I want a permanent. I want permanent solutions to take the barriers away and provide security in terms of the single market. Okay, here's a permanent solution. Go for Swiss-style alignment permanently, not temporary. Permanently, that's a permanent solution. He suggested providing checks between GB and the EU in Northern Ireland. Um, that doesn't have to be at the border. It can be at another location in uh, NI, including the ports. Um, okay, like. You're not allowing the infrastructure to be built, though, to do these checks at places like ports. So, again, sick one, mate, but you're not really helping the situation, are you, when you're not allowing the infrastructure to be built and you're not hiring enough staff to do these checks. So how are these checks meant to happen if you're constantly causing problems with them? What a joke this man is. Deputy First Minister Michael, uh, M- sorry, Michelle, Michelle O'Neill said the DUP need to be honest with the people over Brexit. Any difficulties being faced by business or traders as a result of the Brexit um, the DUP campaigned for and now must take responsibility for. And absolutely, she's correct that, you know, this this Northern Ireland protocol is a result of Brexit, is a consequence of Brexit. You know, you can argue there were multiple parts of Brexit, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, no one really knew in 2016 when they voted leave what they were voting for. Because if they did, then they voted for this, which a lot of people are going to say they didn't. So it's simple, simply that, you know, the Northern Ireland Protocol is a result of Brexit and people need to finally accept that. Uh, Miss O'Neill said no credible um, alternative to the Northern Ireland Protocol exists. I mean, the only ones would be the UK joins the, um, sorry, GB joins the Single Market and Customs Union. That's about it. Adding that it must be implemented to protect the Good Friday Agreement and prevent a hard border on the island of Ireland. Um, absolutely she's correct she's correct like this is what i've been saying like there has to be a northern island pro the northern island protocol exists to stop a hard border going within the island of ireland because there's about apparently um i was speaking to someone about it she said there's about 300 border check posts and if you put any kind of infrastructure there they will get shot at so it's it's not viable she said brexit is not an excuse for violence absolutely it really isn't um, Alliance councillor Sorcher um, Eastfield Eastwood sorry, described the interview with Poots as bizarre. In a tweet, the Langan Valley representative said Mr Poots was painting a picture of Northern Ireland, which I certainly don't recognise. And, you know, he, he's a massive fraud talking about, oh, you know, we don't want to see violence and stuff like that. Mate, the DUP, um, the DUP did not support the um, Good Friday Agreement. They, you know, it walked out of talks with Sinn Féin. So they, they didn't want peace in Northern Ireland. What they want is a close union with GB. That's what they want. And, you know, that's at jeopardy now, not because of the EU, but because of Boris Johnson. You know, like, dude, be honest with the people. Be, be honest with people, like, for once. You know, I know you think the Earth is only 6,000 years and blah, blah, blah. But in this case, you know, it's very easy to prove whose fault the Northern Ireland Protocol is. And we're going to be talking about that during the week. There's going to be a lot of coverage on this channel regarding the Northern Ireland Protocol and loads of different aspects of it. So subscribe for that. But, you know, this man's the ultimate fraud. Anyways, look, um, I want to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.